Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this video I'm going to show you the new and completely rebuilt version of the Hyperland Starter Package. Now supporting Fedora Linux and Arch based distros. The My Linux for Work Hyperland Starter Package is a basic Hyperland configuration, the perfect starting point for your Hyperland experiments, including Waybar, Rofi, WLockout, Alacrity, FastFetch, and Thuna. And the package is chipped with the My Linux for Work Hyperland settings app that you can use to configure Hyperland on the fly without using a terminal. Many of you know already the My Linux for Work Hyperland dot files, the advanced Hyperland configuration. This will stay as the bleeding edge Hyperland configuration for Arch Linux. But I will transfer more and more features to the Hyperland starter package and test the features on various distributions. Another change is that I have migrated the Hyperland starter from GitLab to GitHub. So GitHub will be the new home base for all of my developments and also the my Linux for work Hyperland dot files will be migrated very soon from GitLab to GitHub. And if you need support, then please visit the wiki that I have created for the Hyperland starter package. Here you find help and documentations for the installation updates and configurations. And if you like that video, please subscribe to my channel and give me a like. And with that, let's jump in. So welcome to Fedora Linux. Fedora Linux in the version 40, the workstation edition. And here we want to install now Hyperland with the Hyperland starter package. First step is to open the browser and then open the repository of the Hyperland starter. github.com slash my Linux for work slash hyperland starter. Here is the repository. And when you scroll down, you find here the installation command. Copy that command, open a terminal. Paste the command in and go. And now you are in the setup script. You confirm the installation with yes. You need to enter your password. And all required packages for the installer will be now downloaded and installed. And we are here now in the installer of the Hyperland starter package, the version 1.0. And I can confirm the start of the installation with yes. Now the script will check if all required packages are installed. If not, they will be installed in the following step. You see it here. This will take some seconds. The script now asked me to create a backup because the script found an existing .bash RC file. I confirm this with yes. Then I define the initial keyboard layout. In my case, it's DE and the initial screen resolution 9020 to 1080. I'm running in a virtual machine and that's why the script asked me to set some environment variables in for Hyperland. I confirm this with yes, and that's it. Let's skip the reboot for now, because I want to open here the file manager. First, let's show the hidden files. And in the .config folder, you see now that there is an Alacrity folder the hyper folder and the Weber folder, Rofi is there and the My Linux for Work folder with the wallpapers and the scripts. And when I go back to home, you see also here the My Linux for Work folder and here you can find the backup. Here is the .bash RC. The archive is currently empty. Next time you run um, an update, for example, of the Hyperland starter, if a new version uh, is published, the backup will be copied 
into the archive folder and the latest backup then will be created in the backup folder. And here you see the files, the configuration files of the version 1.0 of the my Linux for work dot files. So let's reboot the system and see if we can log in into Hyperland. Restart. So the system is booting up. And here I'm in the display manager. This is GDM. So I click on my name. Now I can select here the profile Hyperland, enter my password and log in. And here we are on Hyperland in a very nice space configuration, a good starting point for your experiments. Let's install Hyperland with the My Linux for Work Hyperland starter package on the latest version of Endeavor OS. I have already updated the Endeavor OS with the latest package, so all packages are up to date. Let's open the browser and open the website of the Hyperland starter repository. It's github.com slash my Linux for work slash Hyperland dash starter. And you can scroll down. Here is the installation command. I copy the command, open a terminal, paste it in and start with the setup script. The setup script will now download all required files from the repository and start then automatically the installer. I confirm the installation. So the missing packages will now be installed. It's relatively fast because Endeavor is, has already a lot of the required packages installed. Then the installer asked me to create a backup because there is already a .bash RC available. I will back up that file. Then I select the initial keyboard layout to DE, the initial screen resolution to 1920 to 1080. Yes, I'm running in a virtual machine. The environment will be set and I reboot the system now. And here is the display manager, SDDM. And SDDM is very well supported by Hyperland. So we can select here Hyperland, enter the password and log in into Hyperland. So everything is working well. And welcome on the Hyperland desktop of the Hyperland starter package. Let me walk you through some features here on top is Waybar. This is the status bar that I'm using. On the left side, you see here an apps button. This will open Rofi and you have access and can start all of your apps. With escape, you can close it. This is the Hyperland settings app and this is also chipped with the Hyperland starter package. Here you can modify and configure your Hyperland installation without using a terminal. So for example, I will remove the border. I will increase the gaps in and the gaps out. So let's open another window. Now we have here more gaps. I will also add here the window opacity for the active window and even more on the inactive window. Yeah. Let's bring the opacity of the active window back. So you can tweak here a lot already with the Hyperland settings app. Let's close it. Let's continue. We have a quick link for Firefox and a quick link for the file manager Thuna. 
you see here the window title of the active window. Here are the workspace selector with super key two. You can switch to the second, to the third, and back to the first. Yeah, you can move, for example, Thuna with super key shift three to the third workspace. You can close a window with super key Q. Then you have here some audio information, the wireless connection, the, um, the CPU information, the memory, the battery status, the clock and the sys tray. And you have here the power menu. So in here you can lock your screen and lock in again. You can exit Hyperland, you can shut down your computer and you can reboot. So every core power functions are also available here. Let's change the wallpaper. This is also possible, but you need to open an editor. So Vim is installed, but before I cd into the .config folder, in the my Linux for work folder, and then in the wallpapers folder, and here you see that the hyperlink settings are chipped with a selection of wallpapers. The go back into the config folder and cd into the hyper folder, then open the file with vim hyperpaper.conf. And here I can set a new wallpaper by going into the insert mode, add here the four and it's a JPEG. Also here for JPEG, save the file, go to another workspace and with super key shift W, you can reload the wallpaper. And here you have a Hyperland styled wallpaper. Looks also very nice. Okay. Fast fetch will be loaded from the .bash RC file. If you open a terminal, so also this is working fine. And you can also edit here the quick links. Let's open again an editor with cd.config, my Linux for work settings. You see here some settings files, so to define the default browser, the file manager, and the Wayback quick links. Open this file. And we can add here a fourth quick link. So for example, this module, it's called custom alacrity, has a label open alacrity and an on-click event alacrity. That means I will add now here a new module to open alacrity from the tool, uh, from the status bar. And now I can add this to the status bar. It's custom alacrity. And this should work. Let's save the file. And now you can reload the waybar with super key shift B. And now you see you have here the label Alacrity. And when you click Alacrity, then Alacrity opens. So everything works like expected. Perfect. This launch of the My Linux for Work Hyperland Starter Package is super exciting for me. And I really hope that you like it as well. Welcome Fedora users to the Hyperland community and have fun with that starter package. And if you need help, if you need support, don't forget to visit the GitHub page of My Linux for Work, open the wiki of the Hyperland Starter Package or open an issue and I or the users will help you. With that, See you next time.